All right, quick update for today. Um, <clears throat> let's see, last week, it is Sunday today. Last week, Wednesday and Friday, I had the family come over, help me move some, uh, well, some, a whole lot of concrete and brick and mortar and concrete block. So we got a whole lot of stuff moved because um, we had a, a lot of hands up and that was super helpful. So I'm just going to show uh, the stuff that we moved on Wednesday and Friday. And uh, and then all of our muscles were sore, so we decided to take a break um, for the weekend. But um, tomorrow, I've got a little bit of brick left to move and a very small amount of concrete block. And then pretty much everything will be out of here as far as uh, all the demolition material. And then we can move along to uh, digging um, for the footer, and then also um, a, a trench line, which I don't know if you can see behind me here, but uh, from the road down to where I am here on the front porch, <clears throat> which I'll, uh, so as you can see, like right here, it's going to go under the front porch into the basement wall. So that's uh, that's our next step. But in order to pour the concrete footing, I need water for the concrete. So that's why I've got to run this line down from the meter. And that's going to require uh, trenching. And so at some point, I'll have to take a trip down to Home Depot again and do another rental uh, for a trencher. And not just trench for the line, but also I want to uh, trench for a French drain across the front, uh, the front porch here, and along the sides of the house for the downspouts to go down a line and pull all that water away from the house. So anyway, next steps will be finish up the rest of the demo material tomorrow. I've got one more load to take to the dump, and then I really shouldn't be in need of taking any more trips to the dump for a while. Um, when we do the sheathing, I'll pull the old sheathing down and there's a touch bit more um, framing that needs to be taken down, but that's really about it. So thankfully we're on the tail end of paying for throwing stuff away. <laughs> so that's good. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna show you uh, the work that we did on Wednesday and Friday. So, Here's the, where the front porch was. We removed all the concrete down to just, you know, real small um, aggregate that can stay here and it'll be fine. We'll probably deck over the top of this as opposed to just pouring another slab. Um, at least that's that's the plan. So, <clears throat> and that'll be eventual, um, not right away. Right away, maybe we'll just build like a small pathway right here. And, and then just leave the temporary uh, concrete deck posts up. And then when we go to re-roof, then we'll tear this down and we'll take care of the decking and all that, but that'll be a while. So anyways, up here, all that's left is just this sm small pile of brick here and this small pile of brick here. And that's pretty much it up here. Um, I'll go through the house here. Gonna be a little shorter and then Go outside after that. So going down to the basement. I'm um, sorry I don't have before shots. I'll just have to go back and watch the previous video, but or two or three. I can't remember which. Um, but obviously there was a big, huge, massive pile of mortar here from all the chimney teardown and all the inside um, fireplace and such. So still have obviously some more brick block and mortar that will come out of this portion right here, but I couldn't even get to this until I got that pile of mortar on. So now that it's gone, I can completely, or rather, uh, I can complete this and finish uh, tearing the rest of the fireplace down. I got the firebox out, got all the dirt. Um, this is actually a pile of, used to be metal. <laughs> so it's all, it's all magnetic. Uh, so I'm gonna take that to the dump when I take my load to the dump. Because there's just really nothing I can do with that. You can't re you can't recycle it. It's just dirt at this point. 
Um, and that's the small pile of brick that's left. It's probably one, maybe one and a half uh, dump trailer loads. So I'll be working on that tomorrow. And then that'll be all gone. And um, at some point I'll take uh, the, this will this will be a load and I'll take that, but um, I'm not in really any hurry uh, to, to get rid of it. I just need it to come out of here so that I can trench um, just right here. And then I can put a, I can see what the, um, the foundation looks like underneath here. And then I can just put a post up here and wall this in. <clears throat> but anyway, so that is the remaining pile of brick. Again, all the mortars gone here. Just as a reminder, refresher here, uh, I went through all that concrete and got rid of the big pieces and it's just some small aggregate that's left too that I'll leave there. And then when we're ready to pour concrete here, I'll bring it out here um, on top of our stamped down dirt. And then as you can see out here, same thing. We went through all this concrete and just got it down to like some small aggregate. And, uh, but we're going to have to pull up all this sand <laughs> and move that, which is fine because this is just going to have to get leveled out too, uh, before we pour concrete. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's all ready to, um, have the footer dug all around and, uh, and then pour that and just coming around the corner here. Um, all this concrete is all gone too. It's just some small aggregate that's left um, all the way over to there too. So all that concrete is gone. Um, that's where, again, that's the line that I ended at. And then the only thing that's left here is um, this wood. So I've just got to cut some of this down and then it's going to go to the dump tomorrow. And then, uh, I don't know if you remember if I even showed, but there used to be brick stacked out to here all the way up, almost as high as the coop. So all that's gone, just have a couple of blocks left. Um, just throw that in on top of the brick that I take tomorrow. And then all the concrete that was all laid right here is all gone too. So we were super busy, super thankful for the family coming out and helping. Um, they were all out on uh, fall break last week, so that was perfect timing. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. Uh, that's why I left it there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's pretty much, uh, there's just a little a little bit left um, that we can just rake out and then we'll be able to mow over. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's uh, it's a good feeling to have all that gone. And then once uh, all this wood is taken to the dump, then I can take the remaining uh, metal stuff that's laying around and recycle that. And we'll be in a really good spot. We'll be, uh, this place will look nice and clean. <laughs> so excited for that. So um, here's the rock that I took off of the fireplace inside. I'll reuse this somewhere on the property, maybe as a, like where water's gonna flow out and it can flow out over, over these rocks or something in a little fake uh, rock bed stream kind of a thing. Uh, we'll see, but I'm just gonna leave it here and I'll figure out something to do with it. So anyway, and then the other thing that's left is all the wood that I showed last time that I took off the double wide is all still hanging out. So I'll take the truck over there and put that on top of this stuff and take that to the dump tomorrow as well. So again, um, looking forward to things being almost in a completely cleaned up state. It's gonna feel good. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's a review for today. Thanks as always for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.